Greetings, apreneurs. Welcome to the Entrepreneur Secrets Podcast, the show that uncovers the secrets to win with books beyond book sales and dominate entrepreneurship. Through exclusive author interview stories and must-have resources, you will discover some of the secrets and strategies to thrive with books and generate lasting income. I invite you to become an entrepreneur ambassador and join me in my mission to raise up 10,000 Caribbean entrepreneurs by 2030. Spread the word about the podcast and encourage more people to increase their impact and income with books beyond book sales. To get started, visit entrepreneursecrets.com forward slash resources and download all the resources that you need to become a winning entrepreneur. Without further ado, let's get into the show. It's episode 101 of the New Entrepreneur Secrets podcast. (laughs) And I'm your host, C. Ruth Taylor, Jamaican entrepreneur and best-selling author of over 25 books. And in today's show, I am going to be talking about our Vision 2030, introduce you to the concept of informational book launches by sharing just a little excerpt from entrepreneur Deanne Williams' presentation at the Caribbean Entrepreneur Summit in January 2023. Going forward, along with updates on my own entrepreneur journey, I'll be introducing you to our Caribbean entrepreneurs in our Vision 2030 Spotlight. And there'll be interviews as you hear about their entrepreneur journey. And through these interviews, you will also discover secrets and strategies that can help you to maximize the asset called your book to turn that into multiple streams of income and to use it in innovative ways to transform lives and leave a lasting legacy. So I'm going to be giving a number of shout outs today to our entrepreneur rock stars and encourage you to become an entrepreneur. Remember, we're looking for 10,000 Caribbean entrepreneurs who will change the trajectory of their families, of their churches, of communities, using books as a primary platform. So stay tuned. Before we dive deeper into the show, let's have a word from my podcast coach, Henika Watkiss Porter. Hi, I'm Henika Watkiss Porter, speaker, coach, author of Podcast Power, and the host of the Entrepreneurial You podcast, inviting you to listen to the Entrepreneur Secrets podcast, brought to you by C. Ruth Taylor, best selling in the author and the Caribbean's most trusted voice on entrepreneurship. Get ready to dominate entrepreneurship. All right. In terms of the latest on my entrepreneurship journey, I have launched my book club on Patreon. I've been talking about Patreon support. Now, Patreon is a platform that allows you to support your favorite creators. So if you have enjoyed my work, I've given away several free books from my collection. You can go to YouTube and listen to Embracing Destiny the audio book. You can listen to Penny to Win It, Going Beyond Book Sales. You can listen to The Rocket Writer on YouTube. The audio book, those are all free. I've also given away the Design to Win Roadmap, which is a career and personal development handbook so that you can design your winning future in five to 10 year segments and just figure out what you want to do here on earth. And there's the Rocket Writer that is also free on my website, free on Amazon, free on Barnes and Noble. 
that will teach you how to write a book in 24 hours. Now, this is a taste of my writing. I write inspirational books, memoirs, self-help, personal development books to fuel your success. And I also have nonfiction books for authors to help you to write books fast, to learn how to self-publish and to learn how to generate lasting income with your books. Now, if you have tasted my books and you love my books, I invite you to join my book club and you can go there and see the different benefits. There are two tiers of membership. There is the Silverpreneur <laughs> where you pay a $5 monthly fee and you will get five eBooks, three audio books. There will be a monthly meet the author Q&A session. Um, there will be discounts on my courses, 5% discount on my courses and coaching programs. And we'll be discussing a different book each month from my collection. And if you have any questions about entrepreneurship, when we meet up, you can ask those questions or you can send in those questions through a form that patrons will have access to, to send in your questions and I will answer them and send out the monthly recordings, as well as there's going to be exclusive podcast content for those who are part of my book club. I'll send that out each quarter based on some of the questions you ask or the topics you raise. I'm going to do some exclusive podcast episodes for you. If you join at the goldpreneur level, which is $10 per month, then it's 10 eBooks that you start off with, three audiobooks and uh, after two months of support, you get an autograph book from my collection of your choice. I will send that to you. You get 10% discount of courses and of course the monthly live Q&A. And whenever I have other audiobooks coming out, you will have exclusive access to those and you'll be first to know when another of my book is coming out. You can go to patreon.com forward slash entrepreneur secrets to join my book club. So it's new. I don't have any patron yet, but I trust that you will join the club. And I'll also give you a shout out on the show when I have new patron members. So that's the latest in my entrepreneurship ventures. Now, let's turn to our Vision 2030 Spotlight. So we're seeking to raise up 10,000 entrepreneurs and the journey has already begun. Remember, if we get 100 entrepreneur ambassadors who will raise up 10, that's 1,000. And if those 1,000 raise up another 10, that's 10,000. I suspect we will exceed our target by 2030. But I want to start with the entrepreneur rock stars from my indie entrepreneur group when we first started in October 2018. And so these are the names of some of our entrepreneur rock stars. And so you want to listen out for your name each week as we are heading to 10,000 entrepreneurs. It is the road to 10K. So I've begun creating the list of entrepreneurs and some of these rock stars will be featured in the 2030 coffee table book, God willing, that shows the entrepreneurs and their impact. So number one is Leo Stone Morrison. He's the author of Mind Renewal and several other books. He was the first to complete our idea to book or to manuscript challenge in the Indie Entrepreneurs Group in November 2018. He has since gone on to start his own publishing business. He has a YouTube channel, and he has a number of programs built around his books. And I'm sure he's published for more than 10 authors. <laughs> so with him alone, it's 
already one raising up 10 and I would love to know by 2030 how many entrepreneurs he would have raised up, but he's our first rock star. Then rock star number two is Patricia Reed Waugh. Patricia Reed Waugh is a retired chartered accountant and just an amazing woman. Patricia Reed Waugh is in her 70s and she's a retirement specialist and recently her book was turned into a radio show to help persons to prepare better for retirement and she's doing seminars and some amazing things and of course she has to be in the 2030 coffee table book next up we have Nerissa Golden now, Nerissa Golden is one of our entrepreneur rock stars. She's a member of the Indie Entrepreneur Group. She was one of the, she was one of our first presenters in our Caribbean Entrepreneur Summit. She was on this writing path and book publishing path long before me, but she is an entrepreneur rock star and she is an honorable member of our 10,000 author producers because she's just an amazing ambassador and she's playing a part in raising up the entrepreneurs. So next up is Raquel Newman. Raquel Newman is one of the founders of the Caribbean Entrepreneur Summit and she was the second person to complete her idea to book challenge in the Indie Entrepreneurs Facebook group. And since then, she's gone on to create a course around her book. And she has just been an amazing ambassador. Um, she helps to host the summit and she's encouraging others to become entrepreneurs. So congratulations, Raquel Newman. Next up is my co-host from the summit this year, who is Marva Smith. She's an entrepreneur rock star. And some of these entrepreneurs had their initiatives before and then tied it with their book. So, so it is with Marva. Marva had a coaching program and then she created her book, um, Time to Thrive, around that coaching program. So that's a smart way to become an entrepreneur out the gate. Then we have another honorary entrepreneur, Henika Watkiss Porter. I have assisted her through Bamboo Sparks in the publishing of two of her books. We formatted Podcast Power, which she, it plays a vital part in her own entrepreneurial endeavors. So she is an entrepreneur par excellence. Her books are tied into her programs. She is sure to be one to be featured in our coffee table book. Then there is Tashere Nicholson. She is also one of our entrepreneur rock stars. She is not only an author, but she has been building initiatives around her book. Um, she has what she called the Shine Through Shame program. And she has this webinar that she's been hosting annually surrounding her book, Broken Silence. And she has gone on to also add publishing services to her repertoire. And she serves as a publishing lead for Bamboo Sparks. Congratulations also to entrepreneur Patricia Lindsay Fletcher. Now, she was a member of the Entrepreneur Secrets Academy. And she has since gone on to use her book, Hezekiah, to start a podcast. And she's created other initiatives around her book. I remember one of those was about money moves. And she has become a publishing coach. And she is just doing amazing things and has already begun to raise up other entrepreneurs. I also want to big up another entrepreneur, Shanice Warp Graham. She just recently did her book release, which was another great example of how you can become an entrepreneur out the gate. And her book, From Her to Hope, she has a coaching program around that. 
and she had published two other books before. She is an award-winning author and a wonderful authorpreneur. She's also a certified publishing coach through the Authorpreneur Secrets Academy. And finally for today, I am going to introduce you to authorpreneur Jihan Williams. She is an attorney and she has been speaking, using her books as a platform to talk about miscarriage and its effect. And she is one to watch as she's looking to see how laws can be changed and how systems can be created to offer better support to those who have miscarriages. And you're gonna hear a little bit of her journey today. We wanna pause here. So every episode, we're gonna give a shout out to 10 persons who are on our list of 10,000 Caribbean authorpreneurs. So congratulations to those who are not just authorpreneurs, but also authorpreneur ambassadors. And we know that your books and your initiatives are changing lives. So keep up the good work and continue to spread the word. Okay, that's it for our Vision 2030 Spotlight. Today, we want to close out the show by giving you an idea in terms of your book launches. As you hear a little bit of Gian's story from the summit. I'm, I'm a bit concerned that, you know, what we produce on social media in, you know, the prevalence of some material. So I think it's important for those of us who have wholesome substantive stories to really take the time and, and record it. History is going to thank us for that, I, I, I believe. My love for, for the Caribbean literature and Caribbean art is one of the reasons why I also pursued a degree in intellectual property law. When the time came for me to specialize um, I, so I did my master's in, in London, you know, focusing on the creative industries and international trade. I really want us to get our talents and our skills out on the international market and for people to understand how you monetize that and how, why is it important to understand that your skills are possible cash calls for you. And these are your these these are, are possible income earners for you. So understanding the the legal base, basis behind that, uh, it's it's important. Now for me, so you've gathered perhaps that I'm an attorney. I work with the government of Saint Kitts and Nevis in the intellectual property office, and I spend my days trying to encourage people to produce and protect their creativity. I'm also a spoken word performer. I've, I've just generally always gone up around the arts and I, I love it. I, I absolutely love it. But like I said, I knew that I would write a book someday. I just never knew on what topic. But then enter November, 2020, when at 37 years old, I was six and a half months pregnant or 26, 26 weeks along in my pregnancy. And I went into premature labor due to fibroids. I delivered my son, but unfortunately he died after taking a few breaths. It was a very traumatic experience for me. And it was compounded by a number of incidents such as finding out immediately after the delivery that there was a policy that prohibited me from burying him. I did not have custody of, of his body because the policy was that you would have had to advance at least 28 weeks in your pregnancy to have that option. So had I been pregnant for 10 more days, I would have had the opportunity to bury my son. Um, but based on the policy, I was 
robbed of that opportunity for closure. That was compounded by finding out the next day when it was time for me to go home that I was only allowed two weeks time off from work because, again, I didn't make it to the 28-week um, timeline, which would have entitled me to the statutory 13 weeks maternity leave. So in two weeks, I had to go back to work having delivered my son in a lot of pain, physically and emotionally, and also preparing for the surgery to remove the fibroids because my doctor was very clear that these could be a problem. So he instructed me to, you know, we thought, talked about it and considered that this was something that I, I had to do because I, I wanted to have a child. This was my first pregnancy, I should mention as well. So going on throughout the days, I had so many experiences with people's insensitive comments, people not knowing what to do, people asking questions, and it became very clear to me that people did not understand, the people around me did not understand what I went through. I didn't understand what I went through. I didn't even know there was a difference between a miscarriage and a stillbirth. And that if I had lost my baby in Jamaica, say for example, I would have been classified as a stillbirth, but because in St. Kitts and Nevis and the 28 week rule, I, I was classified as a miscarriage. All of these things I, I found out and I learned and I had so many ideas about things that could happen to improve the situation and, and environment surrounding people who go through pregnancy loss. And I felt it very strongly that God was urging me, Jian, you have to talk about it. You have to talk about it. It is uncomfortable. You're going to have to talk about the fact that you were trying to get pregnant for four years and it wasn't, um, you weren't successful. You're going to have to talk about the fear that you're having because you're approaching 40, the geriatric age um, for pregnancy and nothing seems to be happening. You're going to have to talk about, you know, having to consider IVF and, and fertility treatments and the cost associated with that. And you don't have no money for that. So all these things, I, I really thought we need to have these conversations as women in St. Kitts and Nevis. And so I reached out to Narissa about writing a book. I, again, had no clue about how to write a book. And she told me about the summit. I came, I immediately bought the Entrepreneur Secrets book, and that was my manual. I had no idea how to publish. And I made up my mind that I was going to write this book and launch it on the one year anniversary of my miscarriage. And that's what I did. So having had the experience of the summit, uh, Narissa's support and other strategies that I used and other people that I was able to tap into, Lifting the Weight of Miscarriage was published in September of 2021. And I did an informational book launch on November 23rd, 2021, which would have been my son's first birthday. So that was my um, way of marking his life. Gian had what she called an informational book launch. So it wasn't just a book launch where you read from the book, but she used it as an opportunity to educate others about uh, miscarriage and how it affects both men and women. And so she had different persons come in, different experts, doctors, and other men and women who were affected. And it was just like a, a whole seminar around her book launch. And so we want to leave you with that tip in terms of one of the secrets that you can use to win beyond book sales is to begin to have informational book launches. And so that whole idea came from Gian Williams. Um, <laughs> we would say she have the copyright for that. And uh, 
we want to encourage others to have more informational book launches. I trust that you found this episode educational, inspiring, and uplifting. And I just want to encourage you to spread the word, share the podcast with a friend, and help us to raise up more entrepreneur ambassadors. And who knows, you could be one of the rock stars featured in our 2030 Entrepreneur's Coffee Table book. I'm Ruth Taylor saying, tough for now until next time.